Hey, two weeks ago, we explored the important factors that went into the California Association of Realtors 2017 housing market forecast. Last week, we analyzed the demographics. So this week, let's take a look at what the experts are telling us. Nationally, the GDP will increase 2.1% compared to 1.5% in 2016. Unemployment should drop to 4.7%, meaning more jobs. The consumer price index should increase 2.1% compared to the 1.4% for 2016. The 30-year fixed rate may increase to the 4% range. In California, unemployment should drop to 5.3% with 1% population growth. And real disposal income is expected to increase from 2.9% in 2016 to 3.5% in 2017. Now, 62% of the expert economists say that the volume in sales will increase 1.4% and median home prices will increase slightly, say around 4.3%. Affordability statewide it will decrease to 29% and the 30-year fixed rate mortgage is gonna go up maybe to 4%. So this is what's being predicted. The lack of affordability will be our biggest challenge Although locally, we're positioned pretty well with affordability around 47% here in the Sacramento marketplace, the low affordability in the coastal regions should bring home buyers inland and actually strengthen our market. So the 2017 forecast is fairly positive for our area as volume is expected to increase and values are up slightly. Your 2017 opportunities as we see them are educate first time home buyers, talk to their parents, they want to help. Also become well-versed in down payment assistance programs, debt management, and improving credit to turn renters into buyers. They want to buy. Don't give up on international buyers. There are programs for them. And the big message in this forecast is to stay involved and stay current as the housing market should be better in 17 than it was in 2016. Yay, we're excited about that. Now for minding your own business. Hey, let's talk about the power of curiosity. As you might know, curiosity kills the cat, but it can also make you rich. Every new client inquiry you receive has one thing in common. The prospective client or customer is curious. They want a piece of information, so they contact you in order to find out the rest of the information. And in doing so, they provide you with an opportunity to convert them from an inquiry or lead into a client or relationship. Most of us do the opposite. We try to answer as many questions as possible and leave nothing on the table. All this does is reduce the need for a prospective client to contact you in person. Yes, there should be basic level of information, but anything you do beyond that is hurting your marketing results. Instead of bombarding your prospective clients with information, your marketing should seek to ignite their curiosity and interest. It should inspire them to feel like they need to call you or email you so that they can find out. So review your current marketing and decide, is it building curiosity or is it eroding it? If you're not building curiosity, you're missing out on an extremely valuable marketing opportunity. Thanks for watching. See you out there on the roads and have a great day.